Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. Yeah, the ugly American is very spook right now. I'm mm. very scared. <laughs> I mean, the USA is the, the I threat sense to... sarcasm. Mm. <laughs> USA is a threat to themselves. There's no, there, look, man. There's no team mm. in international play that's going to beat the US. It, it may, you may give you a quarter, and it'd be like, oh, they win a quarter. They may even win two quarters. But in the end, I feel they're going to still get boat races. Many of the things that I said earlier. Yeah, Canada has a bunch of NBA players. That is true. Shea probably should have won the MVP. That's probably true. All of those things. Yes, Dylan Brooks can get under LeBron's skin and get 30 put on his head in a heartbeat by doing that. All that's true. I watched them play them an opening night in Vegas. I watched it. I saw it with my own eyes. You told me, Skip, that Canada was like, ah, well, we showed them enough, we're done. That's not true. They was out there really playing. Murray has been struggling. Has he? OK, yeah. so yeah. it's not like all of a sudden he struggled just against the US. He's been struggling. In, the, in these games, he, you know, he's just, maybe he needs Joker to play with him. I don't know, but I don't sense any give up any letdown whatsoever when the Americans take the floor against any of these teams. Man, France just had a squeaker, okay? At first, France was right behind Canada. Now, all of a sudden, I guess the squeaker in Japan, they wind up dropping them down and raising Germany up where Canada is number two behind the U.S. to, to bring home the gold. But it's not number two like mm. this. It's number two like that. There's a gap that's in between where the U.S. is on the 10th floor and Canada's on the third floor. That's how big of a margin it is. And so I don't see where you get Germany based on having a few players, just a few players, that play in the NBA and not... And I'm not talking about superstar players. I know, Rick, you <sighs> hate what I use. I, I know it burns you up. It's we burning you up. We keep doing that. It, that like, it, the truth we keep is doing the, it, Keyshawn. We keep, we keep equating numbers of NBA players with how great a team is. No, 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 not a number of NBA players, the top NBA players. When you got the top NBA players going on one unit, regardless mm. if they played in the, 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 the games a year ago or the games five years ago or they play all summer long together, doesn't matter. These guys are the top of their field because they know what they're doing. That's just, it, there's no running from it. There's no hiding but, from it. But Keith... Keyshawn, we've had great international teams that have ended up winning gold. Spain, as an example, that didn't that had good NBA players, but they didn't have great NBA players. Argentina, when they won, Mano Ginobili, a great player, but not like at the time, not one of the greatest NBA players by any stretch. And yet Argentina was able to to win gold. So I, this this equating like the what a player is in the NBA and I and I believe look, look I understand why we think that way because I think there there was more of a, a a comparative value in the past but the NBA game has really changed so much that players can be great at at the game in the NBA and the international game is just a completely different game it's like Anthony Edwards last summer in the World Cup we look at Anthony Edwards, I know, one of your favorite players, tremendously talented player and a great, impactful NBA player. But as an international player last year, he wasn't anywhere close to that. And it's because the game is so... this year. The game is... But no, 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 we're talking about the difference between the two games and how they're played and how we define greatness in them. And you can be great at the international game and not be as great as an NBA in, in the NBA. And that's why when we just take it and look at it and, and say, well, the guy has an NBA resume, that defines whether he's going to be great or not. It doesn't necessarily apply to the international game. Dennis Schroeder and, and Franz Wagner and Mo Wagner and Daniel Tice and the NBA play, it's not because they're NBA players that I think that Germany is a threat. It's because of the way they're able to play the international game collectively, I, that I, I think that they're a threat. All right, y'all, so that was Skip Bayless, Keishon Johnson, and Rick, and they were having a 
heated debate, even though Skip Bayless is doing his last day at Undisputed, Ken Sean Johnson did not care. Skip Bayless, of course, he was fired from Undisputed, and he actually made sure to do a press release a couple of days ago, and he said that he was not fired. He himself decided to leave Undisputed because he wanted to explore some new things. And uh, Keishon and the host, they were speaking about Keishon and Skip Ellis and Rick. They were speaking about the difference between NBA basketball and Olympics. How are Olympic basketball rules different from NBA rules? Well, it's a different game. Team USA has 12 NBA players, but the team is competing for a gold medal in 2024 Paris Olympics under international FIBA rules. The three Noticeable differences between NBA and international rules are the three-second rule, basketball interference, and the distance of the three-point shoot line. And here is a breakdown of the difference between NBA and international rule. First, we got the three-point rule, the three-second rule, basketball interference. In FIBA, players can knock or tap the ball off the rim once the ball hits the rim. That's not allowed in NBA. Fouls. Play get five fouls in the Olympics, six in the NBA. Court dimensions, you know, it's different in USA versus international. Quarters, 10 minutes for Olympics, 12 minutes for NBA. Timeouts. So there's a noticeable difference between international basketball and NBA basketball. Let me know what you think about this. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.